Hey everybody, this is one I'm pretty excited about. This are the these are well this these are the Morimoto daytime running light fender lights for the Jeep JL, the 2018 and 2019. Pretty excited. Pre-ordered these. I don't know a month and a half ago. Just came in, and pretty stoked. I figure I'll do a uh, an unboxing, show you what's in here, um, and then tonight I'm hoping to get them installed. So let's go ahead get them open. You guys can see what we see. Hopefully there's not a big thing on top with all my information and credit card stuff. Because that would really be a bummer. If there is, hopefully I catch it. Alright, so here's what we got. There's not a lot to this packaging. Um, got this thing jammed in there. We've got... Oh, here we go. Alright. Get rid of this stuff. Hey, really don't... Oh, I guess there's a box underneath and a box next to it. Okay. I expected a box within a box, but this is actually packaged pretty well. So, we have our instructions. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Obviously, it looks like some uh, cleaning wipes, probably for either adhesive or something similar. Let's get into the meter. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and set them. Oh. We got some that just look like anti-flicker or maybe a processor for the switchback. Because we are going from halogen to LED. So there might be some uh, cleverness in here to make that all work. So let's go ahead and set these right here. Oh, interesting. I'll give you some 3M two-sided tape. I'll give you two of those. And that is all that is in there. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Alright, so I'm a little bit surprised. I thought this would be more clear. Um, you know, it's obviously got a reflective material in it. Um, that actually is pretty close to kind of what they offer you stock. Um, this should be your wool clear and this should be your amber down here and they're also a directional indicator so they'll they'll work their way across what i like to see in these videos that nobody ever shows are what they look like behind so looks like you have some kind of uh well it's filled with resin so you can't service them once they go bad or if they go bad and then i'm guessing this is an anti-flicker it's pretty heavy. Could be a resistor or a diode. I'm not sure. Um, all right. And these are just your basic connectors. This looks like your main. And then you've got a couple different. Well, you've got a lot of different connections here. So you've got your main one. What I would assume would be turn and daylight running. And this guy. So this guy goes into the main harness, so I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if this is optional. Like, you unplug it if you already have LED. Let's find out, shall we? So, I got the GoPro set up upside down, so 2019 Jeep Wrangler. Guess it would help if we get the English. Uh, no, it's dual language. All right, so. You've got number one, your, which is your daylight running light, which is your daylight running light position and turn signal. Number two is your resistor plug, which I'm assuming is already plugged into the resistor. Uh, your side marker plug, oh, that's right, because they have side markers. Uh, let's see, F1 style connector position lights, it's number four. That is, it might be this guy. Looks like this guy. And I'm wondering, maybe they gave you both options. I can't tell. All right. Oh, yeah. So you plug it into itself if you want sequential. Or you leave it unplugged if you want sequential. And you plug it in if you want non-sequential. So, so sequential, so like, you know, it would start one side and go across, kind of like the Knight Rider car. Plug it in, and it just flashes like a normal one. Pretty slick, kind of cool. Uh, let's see, F1 style lighting position. I don't know what that is. 
Um, that's that's why there's so many plugs. They give you options here. So I'm gonna have to tinker with that tonight. So these you plug in for the um, the sequential or not. This one, which is already plugged in, is F1 style lighting position. I don't know what that is. So this should be interesting. So anyway, let's give you another quick look at what they. I mean, the quality of them looks fantastic. Um, you know, they're marked left hand, right hand. Uh, I mean, all the positioning studs are there. The quality of the plastic. I mean, they're heavy. They don't feel like they're cheap Chinese plastic, and they shouldn't for uh, $250, which is what these ran. Um, and Morimoto is pretty well regarded, as, as I believe, for their, um, what do you call them? Their, uh, <laughs> I know I say oh, a lot, guys. Their projectors. Um, so I'll be interested to see how this works. If it's got DOT markings, DOT SAE. So I don't think anybody's ever going to question whether or not these are um, OE or not. Other than the fact that they do some cool stuff that OE does not. And they are a significantly cheaper option than OE. OE are $350 a piece when I looked them up. And these ones are uh, $250 for the pair. And you have all the options with the, the F1 style, the daylight running light, uh, the sequential. So, huh. Well, we will see. I will try to get these on tonight. Um, I'm going to do a... I'm going to put one in first, see how that all works out, figure out what does what, and then I'll do a video of me putting them in. Uh, and I'll do step-to-step -step everything you have to go through. So that's them. I hope you guys enjoy. Check it out. I will link in the video. And I have no idea what those what the two-sided tape is for. The two-sided tape must just be for all the connectors. I, oh, no. It's, I'm sorry. Two-sided tape will be for the resistor. So cool. They're certainly light on instructions, but I don't think there's a whole lot to it. All right, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 1,000, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks, everybody.